please welcome to the stage right now, world champion calf roper, Mr. Strand Smith. Give him a hand, everybody. He's fixing to get us woke up today. Strand, how's it going, my friend? I'm good. I'm good. Good, good. good. I'm going to let you take it away, right. and I'm ready for it. All right. All right. Uh, for those of you that haven't been uh, with us for the past six, is it six mornings? Five mornings. Five mornings? Six, thank you. <laughs> you know, they should, it should be a law that they have the national finals starting on December 1st for Cowboys. Then that, would, that way you would know today is the 12th. Of, obviously, we would be in the 12th go-round. So you see what I'm saying. Back whenever that happens every once in a while, that's like my favorite NFR because I don't have to keep up with the rounds. I just keep up with the date, right? So, um, but if the, uh, for those of you that haven't been with us, uh, we've... Um, we were, we we're doing this, uh, w this talk every morning and we're trying to keep one theme in mind with and, and how it falls under different topics. And the theme throughout the week has been this, whatever you do regularly will determine what you will have eventually. And uh, today is balance, a uh, balance of our life is the topic today. And if we're going to balance, I think that a lot of times what happens in, in, in my life, I just speak from experience, is it's really easy to get things for whatever I'm doing. So, all right, I'm a, I'm a roper, right? So it's really easy for me to neglect two areas of my life and really focus in on one area of my life, on my career, which would be the physical part. So the, to have balance, I'll, I'll, I'll just... It's mind, body, and spirit. So I think that, that if we can continue to have balance, in other words, if you are a person that, that uh, if you were a lawyer, it would be real easy to get unbalanced in the body part because the mind and, and then maybe the spirit part. But you're, you're using your mind all the time. That's how you make your living. And I think that um, for a, ca a roper or an athlete, it's easy to get unbalanced in the body part but by having your body physically in good shape and, and working at your craft, your trade. And it's easy to neglect your, your mind and your spirit man. And to, to really have my, my opinion is to have true happiness you have to have balance in each area and just for instance I've been talking here for six days and what have we been talking about we've been talking about a lot of the mind and a lot of the spirit man well I haven't even t touched the body that we haven't we haven't gone there yet and I think that's where unless you are depending on your body for your living like a lot of these guys, which all the guys out here at the NFR are, their, their physical well-being is, is, will, is de will determine how successful they are. Unless you're in that occupation or that craft, that trade, it's easy to neglect your body. And so that's what I want to talk to you about today. Myself in, um, you know, it says, it says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And I think that that, that uh, gets neglected a lot as far as uh, with everybody, myself included. We think about, uh, we think about that. And, it, it, you know, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't train up your, your mind, body, and spirit, you won't reach your full potential. So if you don't have balance in the three. And for me, um, I had to decide to decide. That's always the way, you know, you think about it and you're like, what's that mean? Decide. Well, you have to decide to decide. You have to realize that, hey, I'm, you know, this is an important part. This is a third of what I'm supposed to focus in on, and that's my diet and exercise. And, you know, uh, I, especially with, uh, you, you know, you hear the commercials, the infomercials, it's a 30-day diet, uh, this pill, you do this exercise for 15 minutes, and you do... There's no quick fix to any of this because what is the, what's the, what is it? Whatever you do regularly will determine what you will have eventually. Not whatever you do regularly for 21 days or for 30 days will determine what you'll have eventually. In 30 days, you'll have good results, 
But all of a sudden, you don't reach here and go, okay, I've lost the weight. Now I'm going to go back to the chicken fried steak and the french fries and, and, and the Cokes. And now I'll, I'm good. Because what happens is, whoosh, there you go again. So your diet and exercise, and I, that's that probably uh, in my life, th this has been one of the biggest things over the last six years that people want to talk to me about because I had a, uh, I'll, I'm getting ahead of myself. So diet, right? You know what diet says? <laughs> what it actually stands for? To die. I, I don't, I'm not on a diet because I'm not dying. Because you know what? If you start eating to live instead of living to eat, then it's a lot easier. I, I, I don't want to, I'm not dieting. No, I just, I just transform the way I eat. And um, this is something that's very important because whenever I decided to decide that I'm going to make a change, it wasn't for 30 days. It wasn't till the end of my career. It wasn't till I was 42, or it wasn't till I was 38 after I was fortunate enough to do what I did in 08. No, it was a, this was a life change, a life change, and it was a, a marathon to the end of my life versus something that whenever I reach this certain goal or I reach this certain weight or I reach this certain body fat percentage, percentage or uh, whatever, this pant size or whatever the whole deal of that. No, it wasn't anything to do with that. It was, this was a, I got the revelation of this is for the rest of my life because I have been fortunate enough to be in a few hospital rooms that doctors told me what my odds were for coming back or living or whatever that might be, whether it was from stroke, whether it was from shoulder surgeries, knee surgeries, pelvis surgeries, whatever the whole, whatever you want, everybody's got a story like this, okay? Now you, it, it might not be you, but you, I promise you somebody in your close circle has a story that's probably a lot better than mine, that's had to come back from a lot more things, a lot more adversities than I have. So um, this was a life change for me. In 06, I came to the national finals with my arm in a sling. If y'all were here yesterday, you heard the story about jerking, the, um, jerking my arm, the whole story. I, I'll give you a little quick deal. In 06, I was, uh, I was last rodeo of the year. I dislocated my arms, pretty much what it was. Tore my arm up pretty good, and I went and had surgery. That was in Kansas City in October. I had surgery in... November, I came to the national finals in 06 with a pillow around my waist. Any of you that ever had shoulder surgery, you know what I'm talking about. It's this little pillow that you put around your arm, you can't move your arm. And I was out here, you can imagine, that's the first time I hadn't made the finals, and I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to rope again, and this is like the least most favorite place I could ever be at that time. So um, just by... Uh, Well, it's, I, I, I can call it the way it is. It wasn't other. It's divine appointment is what it was. I was able to be introduced to Dodd Romero. And I think we have a picture of Dodd up here for, uh, that just so you kind of know, this, he's kind of like the, um, I would say the uh, trainer of the stars kind of. He's, he's had the fortune to be able to train lots of high profile athletes and that's Dodd in the middle right there with his wife, Sabina, and their daughter, Gianna. Yeah, that's me right there. That, that's what I look like whenever I work out, that guy in the blue right there, the dark blue. <laughs> that's when I got my Superman suit on. Now, I was able to, to, to meet Dodd and to be able to um, uh, be his charity case, so to speak, because <laughs> there's no way I could afford to pay this man to train me. Uh, he's, he's, he's had lots of high-profile athletes that he's trained, and, and it's, not just a, it's not just a physical, well, let's go to the gym and let's pump the, put, stick, stack the weights on there and let's, uh, let's build up muscle. No, it's a whole life transformation, and it, 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 it's the whole thing that I'm talking about. It's mind, body, and spirit having balance, and having balance in your diet, 
having balance of what you what you eat not really your diet like y'all say like I said because it's really I'm not on a diet it's having balance in what you eat what you put in your body and how you work out what you what you do regularly and to make you a better person to to um, to make you a uh, whatever your craft is and it's easy to focus on this whenever you are coming back from an, an injury like I was I had my arm in a sling and I couldn't, my arm didn't work anymore. I had, um, the surgery was such an extensive surgery that I was supposed to never get my range of motion back to get, again to be able to rope. Well, I met this man and he told me, he said, you know, he, he, we, we didn't just meet by, I mean, we had to set up a meeting and I, Jennifer and I flew to San Antonio to meet him and he had an interview process. He wanted to know before he agreed to train me that if we were connected or not. I mean, this is a man that's actually turned, he turned down P. Diddy, you know, the rapper P. Diddy? P. Diddy wanted him to put a little shine on him, as he said, for a, a video, and he went to P. Diddy's house. I hope P. Diddy can't hear me because he might be able to send one of his boys after me. He went, to, he went, to, I don't think he's in here. <laughs> I went to, he went to his house and P. Diddy, and he said it, it really looked like they were shooting a music, music video, a rap music video with all the people that were there. Lots of nakedness, if you know what I mean. And he said that he was there for an interview just like he was interviewing me. And he said uh, that he sat down with P. Diddy and P. Diddy said, I don't care what everybody's paying you, I'll, I'll double everybody else's salary for you to put a little shine on me for... How about like six, three weeks, six weeks, whatever it was. He wanted to look all buffed up for his, his uh, uh, music video that he's fixing to shoot, right? And Dodd, after talking to him and being in that environment, and he's a very spiritual man, led by the Spirit, he knew that that was not even an option. And you know what he told P. Diddy? With all of P. Diddy's entourage, and entourage means bodyguards, he said, you can't shine a rotten apple part and he left and walked out and that's 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 Dodd for you he just calls things exactly the way they are <laughs> and so anyway uh, I don't really know what I was going with that <laughs> deal but anyway it makes for a good story but he 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 started in to train me I will go down to San Antonio and he agrees to train me because he's like we connected our spirits connected and he saw that whatever it was my heart for the lord that's that's the main thing that was uh, i was just fortunate enough that that he's connected to the same man that i'm connected to my father up there that father and he agreed to train me and he not only agreed to train me he said don't i, I don't do this for the money I do it to make a difference. And when he introduces himself, you have to understand when you see this man, he's a very, I would say, intimidating to some people man because he's 6'1", he weighs 252 pounds, he's 50 years old, and he has less than 5% body fat. He's, he's done things that, you, that, that normal, that I don't even, I, start, I, I, I was telling Jennifer this morning, I'm like, I can't even tell the things that he's done because people go, no, he hasn't. Oh yeah, he's, he's done things that are just completely so crazy. He, he has so many stories, but he's so connected with the Spirit and, and putting himself in the right position physically, spiritually, mentally, that he, the way he's used by the Lord is just unbelievable, unbelievable. And the things that his physical body can do because he will push himself past the limit day in and day out. And so anyway, all right. He, he agrees to train me. So we start in, this is in, this is right after the national finals. And he said, when the time is right, my brother, and he doesn't talk English either. He speaks like in Greek God, some kind of language. So, so just for instance, say we're going to go eat breakfast. Me, Dodd and I, we're going to go eat breakfast. He doesn't say, hey, hey, bro, let's go get some breakfast. No, he, he talks like this. My brother, I will meet you in the morning. And we will go after our morning workout and our morning session. We will go re replenish the body. So it will be able to do the work of the Lord. You know, and you're like, <laughs> it come, it's perfect coming out of him. You know, you're like, oh my goodness, what is this man going to do to me? <laughs> you know? So we go home after the meeting in December, after the finals. 
And I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. So I start rehab with the shoulder. I, while I'm talking to him, I got the arm in the pillow, you know, and I'm like, do you give me any instructions? On, no, just let the, body re, let the body heal and replenish. You know, and I'm like, okay, oh, yes, sir. <laughs> so I go home. I, I've never been extremely, extremely healthy as far as I tried to watch what I ate a little bit, but I didn't. I was pretty, uh, I was pretty unknowledgeable about what I was supposed to do and wasn't supposed to do. I did more damage usually when I went in the gym than I did good. So, so I just wouldn't go, right? I roped. That's how I stayed in shape. And um, I'm from Texas. I eat chicken fried steak, right? Okay. So I'm waiting. I'm starting in rehab, and I'm like, man, when, when, when's this guy going to call me? I'm ready to go, you know? I'm already started back roping in about three months after this deal, and I'm trying to rope. And I can't really get it, you know, I can't really swing my rope. Anyway, I, we go to Florida and the whole deal, and he helps, uh, he, he calls me, and he says, it's time, my brother. So he told us to come down there, and we start on this life transformation is what it was. And what it is is, what was really cool about this is I didn't go at this alone. I had a partner. Jennifer was all in on this. She's like, I don't care if we have to mortgage the house, you know, we're going to do what we would need to do to get you back. I'm like, oh, right on, man. You know, you're speaking my lingo now. So if we're going to miss, miss, let's miss big, you know. So we, we, we do go for, through this. I didn't know. My whole thing is I'm just like to him. He's telling me, look, we're going we're gonna to change the way you eat. We're going to change the way you sleep. We're going to change the way you exercise. We're going to change the way you rope. We're going to make you faster, make you stronger, make you quicker, make you be able to jump higher, run hard. And I'm like, man, this sounds like, he sounded like he's listening. to Y'all remember the old $6 million man, Lee Majors, back in the day? You young people probably don't know this. But they used to have a show called the $6 million man, Lee Majors was on it. And... Anyway, I'm, when he's telling me that, it's like that commercial. You know, we're going to make you be able to run faster, jump higher. And I'm, I'm like, to me, in my mind, I am keep just saying, hey, just get me where I can swing my stinking rope. I know how to win. I'll get where I can win. But I, I'm just, just get me where I can get my arm, but where I can get it to here, where I can swing my rope. I'll take care of the rest. I don't need to be able to be faster or, or stronger, all this stuff. Little did I know, I was very uneducated about all these things, about flexibility, the importance of stretching, the importance of your diet. And I started on a life transformation to make me more balanced. And, and like I said, I started on this not alone, but with my wife. And with that relationship, we'll go back on what we talked about yesterday, the importance of your relationships, the importance of what you will reach in your destiny as the pe people you surround you with, with that relationship, it changed the whole perspective of my entire family. My entire tribe has been able to benefit from this one thing. Whenever I couldn't, if y'all were here yesterday, when I couldn't raise this arm to say, thank you, Lord, where we're going with this. Whenever I hurt my arm, I raised my, when I hurt this arm, I raised this arm up. And I said, thank you, Lord, for this, because what is going to come from this? And this relationship with Dodd came from this injury. And it didn't just affect me to get me to where I was actually faster, stronger, could, run, could jump higher, and all these things that he said. But now it's, it, this will affect my tribe, and my tribe being my family, for the rest of our life. Everybody in my family, in some way or another, has benefited from this, whether it be with their diet with their exercise, with our whatever it is, it's been, it has been, it has affected and trickled down to every one of us in one way or another. And there's a couple of them that's out there in that arena that you will see the results of some of these things that has happened because of this injury. So the importance of your physical well-being is I can't, I cannot, because I, I've been living this for six years, and it wasn't just for the result of what it is that ha affects me for roping. Now, I will be a little bit stingy in this one area. That's what got me going on this, was I had that incentive because I wanted to come back. I wanted to do something. I, I, didn't, I didn't feel like I was done yet. I didn't feel like I had d done all I wanted to do. So, 
I'm not going to go into that. Here's the deal. So how do we apply all this? Okay. Simple. Simple to start. Three don'ts. There's three don'ts in your diet or the way you eat. Okay. Now it can, it, it goes a lot more complex than this, but if you will simply do the three, not do the three don'ts. Okay. That is no fried foods, no sugar, Folks, and just as a reminder, no I'm white carbs. Quiet, Those are the here, three but, things uh, that that are, and for sure, that's those are the three the don'ts. Limit booth, Definitely don't do off on all two of the three. For two and hours only, by any means, do not ever let yourself do so all sure three. You okay, you say, what do you mean do all three? A donut. On all a donut is apparel, all three. So it's white. It's white flour. It's fried and it's sugar. Okay, those are. Now, I'm not saying that it's like never put one to your lips or nothing like that. You, you, you decide that that's between you and God about how you should do that. I don't do it. But I'm just saying, here's the deal. Jennifer, she likes to, here's the deal. She likes to work out more than I do. She gets up at 5 o'clock every morning at home, and she goes to the gym. That's something that we were able to do was have, we built a gym at our house because it would, that's how important I feel like it is is for us to be able to have that access to be able, when we're at home, get in the gym. Uh, to be able to fit weight training, cardio. For me, cardio has been the best thing in the world for the way I eat. Because here's the deal. I look at french fries now and I think, boy, that's 45 minutes on that, on that elliptical. Ain't no way I'm putting one of those babies in my mouth. I don't like that crap that much. <laughs> So that's what, that, that's good for me from the way I eat is, the, is to know, hey, listen, that's not where I want to go. That's not something, I'll, it's not worth that to me. I, I'm eating to live, not living to eat. So the three don'ts for me, and then it's, it gets, you can go on, that, that's not the only thing, and that's by any means, it's not like you can never put, you can never do that. But the main thing with each individual is this, get a plan, get a plan. Think ahead of the time, okay? I always, in, I always look forward this time while I'm in Vegas because I've got a plan for whenever I get home. I'm like, man, I just want some, some regular regularity in my life. I'm ready to go out to the ranch, turn my phone off. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to get back in my routine. This is not routine out here, so it's hard to come out to Vegas and go, okay, I'm, tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock, I'm going to the gym. No, get you a plan, a realistic plan, because it's from here for the rest of your life. It's not a 30-day deal. It's not a 30-day fix. And the best way to do this is to write it down. Write your plan down to keep track of it. You'd be, it's, it's crazy to know. I mean, next thing you know, you, you, you're like, okay, I'm going to the gym. Well, going to the gym's not good enough because you, you can go out to one of these athletic clubs, and you can see these guys that's got a gym body from about here up. They look like Lou Ferrigno or they look like Dodd. And from here down, they look like me. They got little skinny little old legs, you know, and they're, they're, they're just, well, have a plan. Don't work out. Don't, 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 don't build it for show. We got a saying at my house, it's, this is built for dough, not for show. I don't put the, stack the heavy weight on there. This is just my plan. I don't stack the weight on there and all of a sudden I'm trying to be a bodybuilder. No, that doesn't do me any good. All I do is lose flexibility and, and uh, lose speed with that. I, my, my plan is I want quick twitch muscles. I, I do multiple reps, and, and I try to keep it diversified. I try to build muscle. I'm trying to gain weight. I'm trying to, but then all the whole time, I don't want to pack on, the, I don't want to pack on a bunch of weight and much of uh, extra uh, body fat and the whole deal. So get you a plan that will work for you. You know, potential, you know what they say about potential, right? You got a lot of potential. I heard that. I've, I've, I've used that quite a few times. You got that, that, that guy right there has got a lot of potential. You know what potential means? You ain't done jack nothing yet, okay? That's what potential means. Potential is just the same as intention. I got good intentions. I'm, I wish I had a dime for every time I've sat down with somebody while they're eating chicken fried steak and I'm eating egg whites, and they're telling me about how they're going to get on that plan, but they're going to start tomorrow. <laughs> they got great intentions. 
It's got great intentions. You just decide to decide. Say, hey, you know what, I'm going to, and it's not a jump, jump in there and they're going to do everything. You can't cut the carbs all out, cut all the sugar out, cut all the bread, cut all that. You're liable to pass out. Don't come, hey, I'm not no doctor, okay? So don't come trying to sue me whenever you, whenever y'all say, hey, he said don't be eating any of these carbs and all this sugar, and man, you, you're, a, you're a carb loaded up, you're sugar loaded up and all that, and then you pass out here a little while. We had to take you to one of these emergency rooms because you, your blood sugar went to, through the roof. No, this is, this is a, a step-by-step -step process because here's the deal. Whatever you do regularly will determine what you will have eventually. I've been working on this for six years. I feel like I have just started to learn and to see the importance of this. But it's something that I am going to do for the rest of my life. I'm going to, this, this is not a, this wasn't a deal for my career. This is a deal necessarily that wasn't even for me. This is something I'm trying to pass down to my kids and my grandkids to where they will be able to live a more fulfilled life and be able to live longer and be healthier and most of all and most importantly to be balanced and have balance in their life. And I think this is something that I know myself, I never did focus on because I didn't see the importance of it. But this is a third of your mind, this is a third of your, of your life experience, the body. So that's what I had for you this morning. Now, a couple of things. We have Jennifer's show at four o'clock today over at the Rouge Bar, the Million Dollar Club. And today, I think Casey Fields and a, um, a gentleman from, where is he from? I've lost her. Patriot, okay, he, yeah, the, the, the National Patriot deal that Wrangler is, that really has been supported. I think that Casey went over to Afghanistan with, did he go with this guy? Okay, I don't know his name, we'll learn it today if you come. Uh, Anybody else on the show today? Surprise. Always a surprise. A surprise, surprise. Okay. Uh, this is the only place in Vegas that you can get your tough enough to healthy drink. <laughs> Be careful with it, though. <laughs> you got to eat with it. Strand, how about right here? Take that one. See, see that's a sign. That's, that's it. I'm done. I'm going. <laughs> time's up. They cut me off. 